The episode begins by introducing various predators and prey that inhabit the earth. The narrator mentions familiar predators like lions, bears, and even humorously alludes to the predator from the movie. We're recapping young Sheldon how far this channel has come after 700 videos. He then focuses the attention on certain traditional prey animals, such as chickens and rabbits. A unique aspect of the series is its main character, our protagonist, revealed to be a young boy named Sheldon Cooper, who is also portrayed as prey because of his apparent fear of someone or something, musters the courage to approach the bus driver with a request. He politely asks if the driver could drop him off closer to his home, but Sheldon's hopes are dashed when the driver declines his request and insists that he disembark at the regular bus stop. With his tax rebates, but his efforts are ineffective, and he ends up getting off the bus at the proper stop once he's outside. Sheldon quickly scans the area before hurrying towards his house, but on the way, his anxiety causes him to dive into bushes and other hiding places. On the following school day, Sheldon finds himself in the company of his friend Tam during lunch. During their meal, Sheldon opens up to Tam about his recent interest in learning jiu-jitsu, a type of martial arts. His motivation is self-defense as he hopes to arm himself against potential threats. When Sheldon finally arrives at his front door, he quickly locks it behind him and lets out a sigh of relief. Tam is taken aback by the notion and cannot help but wonder what Sheldon's determination to shield himself from others as they converse further Tam proudly mentions the intriguing Vietnamese martial art of Vovina, which yields a blue belt. However, the revelation takes a light-hearted turn when Tam admits that his belt wasn't really earned through martial arts prowess, but rather was given to him when his mother bought him the training uniform. Sheldon spends some time in the school's gym because he believes that the concepts of jiu-jitsu, which center on leveraging an opponent's momentum and the laws of physics, may be applied. Led to swift takedowns as a means of proving his argument Tam advances while taking rapid movements, and Sheldon pushes his pal to attack. In the evening, Sheldon is dropped off by the school bus at the same location, but this time, he carefully scans his surroundings before making a quick decision. He struggles to move him even an inch, leading him to doubt the validity of both his approach and physics. The duo's curiosity doesn't stop there, they attempt a leg-locking maneuver called outside Ashigurami hoping to master it, but their efforts hit a roadblock as the move fails to yield the desired results. Finally, a recap the next morning, the Cooper home is bustling with activity as the family gets ready for breakfast. Mima, Sheldon's grandmother who is fondly called, tells everyone about her recent bowling victories, which are code words for sex. Missy Sheldon's sister is amusedly informed about the unusual use of a turkey for bowling purposes as Mary Cooper engages in playful banter with Mima. When the picture switches to Sheldon, we notice an interesting sight, he's carefully covering himself in his mother's voice, calling him to come to the kitchen for breakfast. Inert material with his homemade armor in place, he begins by wrapping the protective sheet around his legs and extends it to his waist. Puts on his school uniform and goes into the kitchen for breakfast, but when he tries to walk with the bubble wrap cocoon, he stumbles in an odd way that makes his family members stare at him. In addition, as soon as Sheldon sits down at the table, an unexpected twist happens, the plastic bubbles inside the wrap start to pop audibly, creating strange sounds. Although Sheldon initially attempts to disregard Mary's inquiries regarding the cause of the noise, Mary's maternal instinct kicks in, causing her to pull his shirt. And learn about his unusual clothing she asks Sheldon why this is happening, and he responds that it's an extra measure of security because she is afraid for her son's safety. When Mary probes further and inquires whether someone is bothering him at school, the poor boy nods in agreement, revealing that he is, in fact, currently experiencing some troubles. George, Sheldon's father, steps in. He gently asks Mary to stop inquiring and tells Sheldon to go to his room and take off the bubble wrap because going to school while wearing such clothing might not be a smart idea. At first, Sheldon is reluctant to obey, but in the end he does. He does, and he never again wears protection after that. Mary challenges George to explain why he prevented her from learning who the bully was. George, tries to defuse the situation and urges both of them to calm down, but Mary shows her serious concern for Sheldon's welfare and emphasizes that she can't just wait for the appropriate moment to respond. George advises caution because dealing with bullies is a delicate matter, nevertheless, Mary is resolute and insists that, 
in this particular instance, she won't hold back for her kid. George begins by talking about his own history, confessing that he was once a bully himself, and he argues that this first-hand understanding gives him the skills necessary to deal with such circumstances. In the scene that follows, just let the kids kick our son's ass because bullying is amusing. Mary comes forward Sheldon's older brother Georgie is discovered sleeping in his school uniform, so she wakes him up and breaks the distressing news that Sheldon is being targeted by bullies. She then asks Georgie to take care of his younger brother and find out who the bullies are. Later, as the two brothers are walking to school, Georgie talks to Sheldon about his dream of flying through the sky, but as he is speaking, Sheldon unexpectedly trips and falls. Sheldon is hiding at the school. It becomes apparent that he is afraid. He refers to Bobby, a six-year-old girl, as Georgie is told by Bobby that he is physically tortured by a demon. Hostility, striking him and even seizing his lunch money greatly concerned Georgie takes his revelation seriously and brings it up with the rest of the family but they find it difficult to imagine that a tiny girl could be abusing Sheldon given that it's the US. Despite their suspicions, they keep a close eye on Bobby and discover that she appears to be innocent and harmless. However, Mary, acting on her mother instinct, proposes that Georgie visit Bobby. Talk to Bobby's father about the matter when you get home. After that, unwillingly, Georgie visits Bobby's home and speaks to her father Herschel. When he asks about his visit, Georgie musters the confidence to voice his concerns by disclosing that Bobby has been getting into trouble with Sheldon. Herschel is surprised by this revelation and brings his daughter over to discuss it right away. However, the young girl denies any wrongdoing and simply retreats inside to get ready for lunch, the situation appearing to be fixed. Sheldon is playing with a toy when Georgie returns home, thanking Herschel for listening to him. Bobby enters his garage and gives him a stern look. Sheldon tries to explain himself, but Bobby is upset and says he shouldn't have revealed her name to his family. Suddenly, the scene cuts, and we hear Sheldon screaming in the following scene. Inquiring while she attends to Sheldon's injuries, Mary following this, Sheldon confesses that Bobby approached him in the garage, and he collapsed while performing a jiu-jitsu technique out of fear. Mary then gives him advice about never raising his hands to a girl, and later criticizes George for not managing the situation. Missy agrees, but wants something in return Sheldon then offers her $4, claiming it to be his life savings, and control of the TV for two months, even during his favorite show Mr. Proto. Sheldon then turns to Missy for help he admits being bullied by Bobby and since Mary's advice prevents him from using force against girls, he asks his sister to confront her on his behalf Missy wants something in return Sheldon then offers her control of the TV for two months. Even Brenda tries to explain that she's at work, but Mary keeps shouting leading to a heated argument frustrated Brenda calls me who is playing bowling with friends at the same center the old woman tries to calm the situation but to no avail when things start getting out of hand Brenda sprays shoot deodorant at Mary and demands she leave her place of business as a result the angry mother eventually leaves but not before she first gets angry. Then just Herschel knocks on the door and informs George of his wife's inappropriate behavior. The two men decide to talk about the situation and find a resolution at Herschel's chicken house. Meanwhile, Missy returns home from Bobby's house. As soon as she enters, Sheldon eagerly asks her if she taught Bobby a lesson. Did you beat up her mommy? Did you beat her ass like her mommy? Sheldon believes Missy and cheerfully thanks her for her assistance at the chicken coop despite the fact that she actually had a lovely time playing games with Bobby and her brother instead of exacting revenge on him. Herschel talks openly about he built it since Brenda is afraid of chickens, and he also installed a small TV for games and a mini-fridge for refreshments. Here, Herschel gives Georgia a drink, and the two start talking about their children. Herschel apologizes for his daughter getting into trouble for Sheldon, but George interrupts, saying that it is George's fault that his son was tormented by a girl. Hercules is still a little child, but now that the issue has been settled, George prepares to leave, stating he had a lovely time. Unfortunately, their timing wasn't ideal because just as George was about to leave the chicken coop, Brenda rushes home, furious and determined to locate in the concluding scene, Herschel the episode ends with the narrator highlighting how prey animals employ various techniques to evade predators, feigning death, blending into surroundings, and the most effective strategy of them all escaping while making a loud scream.
Sheldon returns from school happily strolling towards his home suddenly he spots Bobby riding her bicycle angrily staring at him overwhelmed by fear Sheldon rushes indoors letting out a loud scream as he slams the thank you for watching. Please turn on notifications, like this video, and subscribe for more content like it.